is Tuesday. It is tax day. Tax day. Who out there hasn't gotten their taxes in? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I did file for an extension, though. Yes. I just got an email from a friend this morning. That, I was up all night doing my taxes. I'm like, oh boy, I would have been sweating it out like See, that. and I am usually a procrastinator on taxes because I just hate doing them. I feel like there's so much work involved. But this year I was like, no, I want to get my money. I had them done in like March. That's the best inspiration. If you think you're going to get a refund, of yeah. course you do it early. And it's everyone that has to pay that is waiting till today. No. <laughs> Although this year my refund was smaller than it's ever been. Oh, no. But I'll still take it. Free well, money. Guess what? Not I really. was up late doing last night. What were you doing? Hmm. Hmm. What everyone else was doing, trying to watch the lunar eclipse. Try, I say trying because I made it to about 11.20. Oh, so, so you just missed it. Well, it was an hour later. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't wait another hour. Oh, I know. You know but what I, I mean? was saying, like, this is a so, shot that executive producer Ken Carr snapped last night. And this is, I mean, I didn't really know what to expect, and I was uh, having sweet dreams at this point because I don't get up that late mm -hmm. or stay up that late but this was beautiful some of these shots that people have been taking yeah Ken this is a really nice shot and the distinctive thing about this blood moon is that this is the first of four lunar eclipses spaced by six months oh. that will be happening in the next two years and so everybody's talking about biblical prophecies and all this stuff and the fact that the timing is with Passover we're currently in yeah. Passover right now and so it's just a very interesting celestial event and and has this ever happened before? Uh, I actually don't know if it has happened with the four consecutive blood moons uh, known as, well, yes, it has. They're known as the Tetrad. It's oh, okay. It's occurred several times before from 1909 to 1910, 1927 to 1928. And the most recent one was 2003 to 2004. Oh, wow. I mean, it really is cool. And I, l I love the fact that we call it the blood moon. I know. Too bad it wasn't around Halloween. I know, exactly. Would that be cool? But we call that one the Harvest Moon. That yes, one has its name. It does. They all have their name. Well, anyway, last night something else happened, went down. It was Dancing with the Stars, the Disney version, which I was all about as well as Allison, <laughs> our other producer. And Cody Simpson got the boot last night, mm. which was shocking to me because he actually was like an internet sensation. I mean, he has, just has tons of followers, and everyone on the show is talking about how much their like Twitter following has increased because they tweet about Cody Simpson oh. all the time. How and funny. so you would think with such a huge social media following, he would have almost gone to the end. And he's the Aussie kid, right? The yes, Aussie Justin Bieber. Yes, exactly. So we have your Dancing with the Stars recap. So enjoy. Cody and Whitney. This season's fourth team out, teenage pop star Cody Simpson and his partner Whitney Carson. It's a beautiful experience. It's a once in a lifetime experience. Um, something that I went into wanting to become a better dancer, more well-rounded dancer. Their Lion King inspired dance won't get them the dancing crown, but Cody said it's been amazing. Bragging rights for the first perfect score of the season go to James Maslow and Peter Murgatroyd for their contemporary dance to Let It Go from Frozen. That's pretty awesome. We're both blown away, but I, I know we at the same time don't want to get too excited because now we have, to, we have to match that. It's only week five. And those tens didn't come easy. Maslow's toes needed taping due to big blisters. Denica McKellar and Val Schmerkowski quick step their way to second place with an almost perfect score of 39 for their Beauty and the Beast inspired number. I was hoping for 110. I was hoping so much for just 110 and then we got three. It's just so funny. Celebrating Mary Poppins, Charlie White and Sharna Burgess tied for third place with Amy Purdy and Derek Cuff who channeled Cinderella and Prince Charming. And, and we then, wanted it to be simple. It's such a beautiful kind of vintage Disney song and we didn't have animation. A point away with 36, Meryl Day Davis and Maxim Schmierkowski tied for fifth with Nini Leakes and Tony Dovolani. I said to Tony in rehearsal that I only wanted to get one nine, and we got four. And we got four. So that was so awesome. Now I, I want to kill it next week. Like I want to just. The Little Mermaid, Candace Cameron Bure, swam or sambaed to seventh place with Drew Carey and Cheryl Burke at the bottom. The eight remaining couples will be back next Monday night for Party Anthem Week. In Los Angeles, George Pinocchio for ABC News. But that's what I actually thought was really cute, and we, they showed it in the little package, was that they did the animation behind it, too. That would be really hard. Yeah. Um, yeah, Cody Simpson was really good. He's really good. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I kind of am like, Nini can 
kind of go for me. <laughs> exactly. And Cody Simpson should have been in there, but I guess that's the name of the game. Right, keeps exactly. It interesting. Right. Well, we got to move on with the show. We do have a great show for you today, but before we get going with that, let's take a moment to look at our photo of the day sponsored by BuddiesDeals.com. Fear Kathy sent us this picture of Cockatoo 30. Ooh, that bird's hanging out on a sundial. Oh, funny. To sign up for Buddy's Deals, just go to BuddiesDeals.com and enter your email address. And make sure you head to our website, TucsonMorningBlend.com, and enter for our photo of the day. Just go to TucsonMorningBlend.com and click on the contest page. But be sure to explain what's happening in the photo as well. And coming up in the Morning Blend, today's Hollywood happenings may have you clinging to your sweetie out of fear in the theaters. Ah! The Plaza One School is offering a special after-school program. Find out what your kid could use on their college application coming up right after this.